Hi everyone, I'm from Ask the Car Experts YouTube channel. And I want to go over an unmetered air leak fault on an N55 that can be almost impossible to find. And I know this because I chased it once and you're going to benefit from my knowledge. Like any unmetered air leak fault, you definitely want to start with a smoke test. Let me just go over the normal air leaks that you'll find when you're smoke testing it. You smoke test it right here with the air box off. You put your feet in here. Sometimes you'll find a leak here. Sometimes you'll find a leak down here. Let me show you. At the inlet pipe, here's the oil fill cap. So right here is the inlet pipe. Here's this pipe that comes up and comes down here, goes to the turbocharger. Uh, that's a common leak right down here at the clamps. Sometimes you have to replace the pipe to get this to stop leaking. Sometimes the inlet pipe here that goes down to the throttle will leak so check that but you'll find that on a regular smoke test. The one that you won't find is hidden underneath the vanity cover. So to take the vanity cover off you just lift up like so and then come towards you. Make sure that these stay in place. Alright so looking through here you might find an oil leak, you might find the valve cover is cracked in the far corner. You might find oil residue around your oil fill cap. The problem with that is all of these leaks, if they're oil leaks or air leaks, right? If oil's getting out, air can get in, are pretty obvious and you can find them. The one I'm talking about is when you've eliminated every other leak and you still can't find it and you ended up with an unmetered air leak. Well, let me show you where, it's, where the hidden spot is. All right, so the problem actually is the valve cover, but here's the, the spot to check. So this pipe right here goes down to the vacuum pump, and this supplies vacuum right here. So we're going to have to take this off in order to inspect this little internal vacuum reservoir that's part of the valve cover. Now keep in mind there's going to be vacuum here, so with the engine off, to press the brake pedal four or five times until it's super hard and that will purge any residual vacuum from this and that'll make it easier to remove. So you're going to need a flathead screwdriver and down in here there's like a press tab where we have to press both sides at the same time. You can take a screwdriver and press on one side and then use your finger on the other side to pop this free. I'm going to do that now. Alright, so let me see if I can do this where you can see what I'm doing. Take your screwdriver and press one side and then with your finger press the other side. Gently pull up and you'll be able to pop that free without breaking it. Alright, so this is your vacuum pump line. Now right here in this hole is a reservoir that is part of the valve cover. Inside here is where the problem actually is. So you can develop an internal crack in the reservoir that is going to be leaking inside of the engine. So it's actually going to be sucking air through a crack. Oil usually fills this reservoir. So if you take this off and you find oil in this reservoir, so this one's clean, so this one is not cracked internally. If you find oil in here, that's your air leak. The air is actually coming from the vacuum pump and getting sucked into the engine through the crack in this vacuum reservoir and that's the one that's going to be impossible to find unless you know what you're looking for. And this hidden air leak is on the N55 engine. So any vehicle with an N55 which is a six cylinder twin turbo engine, that's where you're going to find the air leak that is impossible to find. I hope this helps. Thanks for watching. Likes and positive comments are appreciated. And please subscribe to my channel for more car, automotive, and BMW specific videos.